I think it's really easy for us to be so mind focused and I think I've been really aware lately of not mistaking the cerebral space for like genuine connection and community and physical energetic exchange. For me embodiment is so much about playing in the garden with Delphi, my daughter, you know, like just holding her little chubby hands and like seeing her pick up wood lice and, you know, I feel in my body when I'm spending quality present time with her or with somebody I love or a friend or I feel embodied when I'm creating this show, I'm dancing and I'm using these physical landscapes to tell stories and I think you can easily get into burnout and adrenal, you know, madness when you're when you're singing and performing on stage. So for me this show especially has been a real exercise in like managing embodiment in a healthy way through using the dance and the performance to teach myself that I can't be everything all the time. This album started in the middle of lockdown when I was breastfeeding a tiny baby and I would run to the studio for like two or three hours and just improvise. So there's definitely a spontaneity and a sort of a meditative quality to the music because it was just my emotion coming through into my hands and out through the musical instruments I chose that day or whatever I was feeling that day so there wasn't much preconception. We're touching on the new record in this live show at the South Bank. The album's called The Dream of Delphi, and it's about the con conception and growing and birthing of this human being <laughs> onto planet Earth, and sort of the cosmic resonance of that, and the deep animalistic raw aspects of, of giving birth and being a mother, and I'm sort of bowing at the feet of this miraculous event. I like to work with characters and, and archetypes for, you know, to help with the storytelling of my experiences. So the Mother Witch is going to be presented at this show and it's been so nice because I'm embodying that character by using a lot more dance and physical movement than I have before. So I've been working with a choreographer to translate these sort of a combination of like quite raw um, protective ritualistic moves and feelings with sort of domestic folding the laundry, rocking the baby, like all these sort of domestic movements and uh, you know all these things that my body has gone through in the last few years it's, um, it's definitely changed my relationship with my body and therefore my relationship to movement and performance and the dance aspect I think is really liberating and exciting. I feel really different and, and kind of I'm standing differently in myself and therefore like inhabiting that character in this show. It feels like a whole new dimension that I haven't explored and I'm kind of surprised I haven't as much in the past but it sort of feels like the right time. It's exciting to be moving into that. I'm glad that I still find facets of this prism of who I am to create work from. There's always like a new refraction, you know, there's always something to see and fresh, I think, as a human being, if you keep growing and trying to push yourself. I'm obsessed with Christine and the Queens and, and Chris, I think, is such a phenomenal performer. And so I was really thrilled to be invited by Chris because I think there's this theme of embodiment and your physical body and your relationship to that and how that helps you express in the world and I just think Chris has taken such a graceful journey around all of those things and just been such a beautiful example of an embodied performer. I feel very touched to be included and to be recognised by a peer and somebody that I respect and love. Sing to me.